Evening guys, I thought uh, just a, a, one of my very quick videos just to show uh, my my charging solution. I think this is quite a good charging solution and I'm pretty confident it's the sort of um, one of the most cost effective ways of doing it. Uh, I did look at, uh, I wanted to charge at least three batteries at once. Um, so I've got three 3.8, 3 3.3 amp hour uh, Turnigy batteries here, uh, three cell. <clears throat> um, and I wanted to charge them simultaneously, so I looked at the idea of buying, you know, one big charger, and then I could plug them all into a parallel board and, and charge them all at once. The downside of doing that is the fact that all the batteries have got to be in a similar discharge state before you can parallel charge them. You can't sort of put one in which is almost flat, and one one which is half charged, and the other one which is almost completely charged. They all have to be about the same. So, and also a charger capable of delivering enough current a single charger was was quite expensive it was sort of between 80 and 100 pounds and and upwards so then i found these little chargers um these are um imax b6 i've got three i've got the this one here the top one's the first one i bought and this is um 12 volt powered or or mains powered so it's the ac version and then i picked up these two which are the um 12 volt only so no ac power now these these chargers are really good uh, i mean i i picked up a in i picked up a pair in the uk for 12 pounds 50 each so yeah sort of 25 pound a pair um this one was a little bit more expensive because it's got the ac option but even then it wasn't that much more expensive so you could you could you could do basically three chargers for sort of 35 pounds and then of course they're all independent so it doesn't matter what the state of the batteries are you can just charge them all separately um now then you think well, well how am i going to power it how am i going to how am i going to power all three charges at once because they're they're 12 volt input so what i'm using is this which this is a dell uh power supply from a dell optiplex pc um they we had quite a lot of them at work and most of them are now obsolete so a lot of them are getting thrown away so i picked up a few of these uh, dell power supplies and this delivers 12 volts at 80 it's rated 12 volts at 18 amps so it has no problem supplying three lots of five if that was what you were going to charge at um, and the other nice thing about it was the cable that's attached to this um, power supply because they couldn't deliver 18 amps through or they could have done but they decided not to deliver 18 amps through one cable they have actually got three sets of cables in 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 the loom so when you split the cable out you've got you've got three separate output cables which is really convenient because i could just put a power jack on the end of each one and i've got one, two, three inputs to the to the to the three chargers. So I can now charge all my batteries for significantly less than fifty quid, um, and also use these chargers for for other purposes as well. So uh, so that's basically my charging solution at the moment. I mean the batteries at the moment are just crop clipped on. Uh, I'm waiting for the adapters to go to the bullet connectors. Um, but yeah, I think that, that's to me that seems like the most flexible and most cost effective solution. Um, so, so there we go. Um, they're all charging. Just wish I could get more than seven minutes flight time, which is what I'm currently getting. Um, yeah, seven minutes is is a little bit low, really. I was hoping for more like sort of twelve. So, um, any suggestions apart from just putting bigger batteries in? Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Cheers.